Hello and welcome to White Horse Music TV. My name is Richard Bodina and I'm doing a series of uh, videos for people who call in who want to see and hear violins and they can't come into the shop because of this horrible virus thing. Um, so um, each violin is different and if I had five of these particular, particular Schumann Prodigy violins, each one will sound different. And so, you know, um, I will show you exactly what we have on the wall at the moment. And Kaysen, who I'm doing this video for, will be able to choose and then we can send it to her and she will have the love of her life. Um, now, so this first one is called a Schumann Prodigy. And this one has been set up with all of our better parts, as is all of our violins. So it's got the, the French bridge that we've made for it and good strings and new sound post, all of those sorts of things. Schumann Prodigy. So these are, um, like I've tried lots of violins in this particular price range. As of this video, this one costs $420 in our shop, including all of those better parts. I'll give it a bit of a play and then I'll compare the other ones that we have over there. All right, first violin with a wound up bow. about Schumann Prodigy is the the sound tends to ring really nicely and it has more depth than other violins that I've seen in this price range and that's why we've chosen it um, over the all the other ones that we can get in that price range at the moment so I'm really happy with those next up we have this one called a Gliga Saint Romani 2 so Gliga um, you know we, we sell Gliga 3 2 and 1 and models above that in our shop the same, like, I haven't been as happy with the Gliga 3s as I used to be, and these ones are sort of like a step between the Gliga 3 and the Gliga 2, uh, and I am a million times more happy with these than the original Gliga 2s. They come with these cute boxwood fittings, like boxwood chin rest and boxwood pegs, and they look really cute. And they have more of that sort of like Gliga-y, sort of mellow sound, which I have become accustomed to. It's sort of softer and uh, more mellow and sweet sounding. Um, different woods, like they use European woods in the Gliga and they, um, yeah, and the, the varnish also makes a difference. So it's that sort of like matte, matte finish varnish which has been hand applied, which also the varnish makes a big difference to the sound. So this next one is a Strina Concert. This is jumping up in price a little bit, but the Strina Concert uses this beautiful Russian spruce on the front, which rings and gives it this sort of like um, very deep, expansive sort of sound, and they sound amazing. So I'll give you a, a go at this one. can straight away hear that extra depth in the bottom. So they're beautiful, deep sounding violins. I love them. It has lots of that ring as well. And I think they look beautiful the way they're made. The next one is from the same family. So that was the Struna Concert. This is the Struna Classroom, which is the model below, but you can see the F holes of each one look very different. So this one, the Struna Classroom has, a, it's a a copy of a Guarneri violin has much more sort of elongated F holes where the um, the Struna concert that we have at the moment is a copy of a Stradivarius and so very different sort of look but they're both beautiful violins they have um, yeah really antique them tastefully so I'll play this uh, Struna classroom <laughs> And 
so you straight away can hear that trademark sort of strewn of depth, which is, is really nice. So they're sort of like more powerful and deep than most of the other violins in their price range. So now what I'll do is play each of them in a row without you having to listen to my voice, my, my mouth moving, and then you'll get a better idea of how they compare to each other. So I'll play exactly the same thing on each one. So that was Schumann Prodigy. Um, Liga Saint Romani II. That was Strina Concert. And that was Strina Classroom. I recommend buying all of them. No, that's all I'm going to say. Buy all of them, definitely. <laughs>